Hi everyone, today I'd like to walk you through how to set up Zed with MCP servers. Now there are a couple ways of doing this, and the first I'll show off is to use extensions, which is the easiest way, uh, but this depends on if somebody has created a wrapper basically for uh, an MCP server. So to access extensions, you actually have two methods. The first method is to just go to Zed's own web page, and if you look for the extensions tab, and today I'm just going to demo with the GitHub MCP server. So here you'll see there's an install MCP server in Z button. Just uh, give that a click. And then OK in your browser to open Z. In a few seconds, it'll appear in you know, your Z interface. And if you look on the right here, there's an install button to finalize the configuration. So click on that. This, so this GitHub MCP server dialog box is super convenient. Uh, so you can add in your GitHub personal access token here, or if you don't <laughs> have it on hand, right in the dialog box, there's a link to open up GitHub. So you can create a new token if you need to here. Now for GitHub, you've got two options, right? You can generate a new token using their new fine grained uh, option or the classic. Now both will work with Zed. Uh, in my use case, I found the classic worked a little bit better when I need to use the same key as a environment variable. So I'm just gonna showcase this. Here, just give the token a name, and I just gave it a public repo read access only. Okay, just copy this over, and I'll just paste it here. And then once finished, just click Configure Server. This will take a few moments. Once complete, down at the bottom, you'll see a little notification that the configuration was successfully added. Okay, now here, if we scroll down to inside the readme of the GitHub MCP server, here are the top level tool sets. And each one of these options has a number of different tools that you can make use of. Now, back in Zed, if you look on the lower right, there is this uh, sparkly star icon. This is the AI agent uh, button. So go ahead and click on this to bring up the panel. And here, I'm just gonna ask a simple question. Um, what public repos are available? And here, I've got a selection of Olama models I have running on my system. So I'll just select a uh, Llama 3.2 to test with. Here, I'll allow the tool to run. And here, the response I got back was unexpected. I think in this case, Llama 3.2 wasn't able to understand the query or understand my question and convert that to a tool call. So just to move on, I'm gonna switch over to Quen 3, which I have uh, often good success with. And I'll also simplify the question just to be, uh, just in case. Okay, here I've sped this up, but uh, Quen 3 does go through a pretty comprehensive reasoning process. And here it finally figures out to use the search tool. Great, okay, so it was able to pull up a number of public repos and display those. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add in a custom configuration for Neo4j's MCP uh, Cypher server. And here are the tools available in this server. Just read, write, and get the schema. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this configuration and then I'll show you how to set this up in Z. Okay, so if the agent panel is already up, if you go to the upper right uh, horizontal kebab menu, uh, if you look down, you'll see a section for settings. Just go and click on that. And if we scroll down here, you can see there's two options for MCP servers. One is a button for installing extensions. So this is the other way of installing extensions, which is right in Zed's dashboard. The other uh, to the left is the add custom server button. This is what we're going to showcase now. And here you can see there's a uh, template. We're just going to replace that and update the credentials. Okay, then we'll just add the server, wait for it to finish, see the notification again. 
And also while we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off of Quinn. So I, I sped this up. So Quinn works quite well, but I have to wait like 30 seconds or more per run. So just to speed things up, I'm going to showcase how to add an open AI key and then move on from there. Once you've added OpenAI's key, you'll see up at the upper right, there's a start new thread option. Just go ahead and click on that to open up a new agent panel. Okay, and here, I'm just gonna ask, find my top three public repositories by stars, and then add that to my database. So this is gonna make use of both servers. Great, so according to this output, it managed to find my repositories and add it to my database. Now I can go into my database and double check. So I'm just gonna run a match n return n, which is going to return all the data in my database. All right, so we can see the data pulled in just fine. Here is a node for my GitHub account, and I guess my three top public repos by stars. What I'm going to do next is kind of take this to the next step. So I'm just going to have this write a Python script that does exactly what it just did. And so here it writes up the code. And yes, I want to push this code to a file in the root directory or root project. Great, it added it. And what I forgot to do was have it create an env file as well. So I'm just going to ask it to do it now. Okay, and then here, I'm just gonna replace this with my credentials later. And now what I'm going to do is set up the project using UV and then add in the dependencies that uh, this project needs, which is request, Neo4j, and the python-.dnv packages. And then just to simplify things, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of the auto-generated main file and rename the, the file that the AI created, just so I can write a shorter command line run. Here, I'm gonna look for my coworker's GitHub account, uh, Michael Hunger's account, and pull up his top three public repos. And I'll just double check the database again. And yes, his information is in here. Uh, let me just change this to login instead of ID. All right, we can see that uh, his data came in just fine as well. So yeah, that's uh, that's how you can add MCP servers to your Z IDE. My name is Jason Koo. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.